Hare Krishna, everybody. I was afraid we'd have a smaller crowd, but everyone is brave, not only the coronavirus, but also the impending rain and storm. So this is very ecstatic. Uh, we have a slideshow I want to present. So time is kind of short. We have 6.45 is the scheduled Abhishek. I want to try to stick to that. So we'll dispense with the kirtan at the beginning, since we had such a nice kirtan already. Not nice because I let it, but because you answered the chorus. Uh, so let's see here. Om Jnana Timurandasya Jnanandana Shalakaya Chakshu Unmidatamena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha I was born in the darkness of ignorance, but my spiritual master, Shri Prabhupada, opened my eyes with the torchlight of knowledge. I offer my humble obeisance unto him and all members of Sri Parampara. So give me one second here. Okay. So this is the glorious anniversary of the appearance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in 1486 AD. I haven't done the subtraction, but it's, what is it, 440 years or so? Uh, 500, 540 years. And uh, I'd like to share one of my favorite verses here from the Chaitanya Charitamrita. Some of you are new. The Chaitanya Charitamrita is the leading biography, the most important biography of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And it was the favorite book of Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur, Srila Prabhupada's uh, Guru Maharaj. And on the Jala Dutta, when Srila Prabhupada was coming over from India to America, he uh, wrote a diary, and in that diary, it was a difficult passage. It was rough seas, he had a lot of uh, nausea, he had two heart attacks, and he was saying, my only solace is reading this Chaitanya Charitamrita. So this is a beautiful verse at the beginning of the Second chapter. It's the second chapter of the Adi Lila. Adi means the first uh, Lila. Krishna's, uh, Lord Chaitanya's birth is there. And uh, there's also a very important chapters describing who Lord Chaitanya is, that he is the Supreme Personality of God at Krishna, and why he came, the internal and external reasons for him coming. And I want to discuss that a little bit. And then I'm hoping to share with you the Shikshastika. Shikshastika is uh, the, the only verses that are absolutely uh, for certain, uh, attributed to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, that means the eight verses of instruction. And they're all centered on the holy name, the practice and the goal and the benefits of chanting Hare Krishna. And so I'll share that with you. I made a little uh, PowerPoint. And uh, then we'll have the, the uh, Abhishek and the feast. So this is the second verse of the second chapter of Adi Lila. It starts out very familiar, but I think there's probably only a few of you may know, actually know this verse. Krishna kirtana gana natana kalapa to jini brajita sad bhakta vri hangsa chakka madupa sheni bahar aspadam karna nandi kaladvani bahatame jiva maru prangani shri chaitanya dayana de tabala sarali la sudhaswardhani This is Krishna, Krishna's cover as the author praying now. O oh, my merciful Lord Chaitanya, may the nectarian Ganges waters of your transcendental activities flow over the surface of my desert-like tongue. Beautifying these waters are the lotus flowers of singing, dancing, and loud chanting of Krishna's holy name, which are the pleasure abodes of unalloyed devotees. These devotees are, are like swans, ducks, and bees. The river's flowing produces a melodious sound that gladdens their ears. And then this wonderful little purport here, Prabhupada explains. Our tongues always engage in vibrating useless sounds that do not help us realize transcendental peace. The tongue is compared to a desert because the desert needs a constant supply of fresh water to make it fertile and fruitful. Water is the substance most needed in the desert. The transient pleasure derived from mundane topics of art, culture, politics, sociology, dry philosophy, poetry, and so on, is compared to a mere drop of water, because although such topics have a qualitative feature of transcendental pleasure, they are saturated with the modes of material nature, materialism. Therefore, neither collectively nor individually can they satisfy the vast requirements of the desert-like tongue. Despite crying in various conferences, therefore, the desert-like tongue continues to be parched. For this reason, People from all parts of the world must call for the devotees of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, 
who are like swans swimming around the beautiful lotus feet of Lord Chaitanya, or bees humming around his lotus feet in transcendental pleasure searching for honey. The dryness of material happiness cannot be moistened by so-called philosophers who cry for Brahman, liberation, and similar dry speculative objects. The urge of the soul proper is different. The soul can be solaced only by the mercy of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his many bona fide devotees who never leave the lotus feet of the Lord to become imitation Mahaprabhus, but all cling to his lotus feet like bees that never leave a honey-soaked lotus flower. Lord Chaitanya's movement of Krishna consciousness is full of dancing and singing about the pastimes of Lord Krishna. It is compared herein to the pure waters of the Ganges, which are full of lotus flowers. The enjoyers of these lotus flowers are, li are the pure devotees, who are like bees and swans. They chant like the flowing of the Ganges, the river of the celestial kingdom. The author desires such sweetly flowing waves to cover his tongue. He humbly compares himself to materialistic persons who always engage in dry talk from which they derive no satisfaction. If they were to use their dry tongues to chant the holy name of the Lord, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. As exemplified by Lord Chaitanya, they would taste sweet nectar and enjoy life. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. So this is uh, a wonderful prayer. And indeed, the whole Chaitanya Charitamrita flows after. This is near the beginning, only the second chapter. And uh, Krishna's Kaviraj, he was elderly when he was asked to write this um, uh, book. He had already written, when he came to Vrindavan, he was fairly young, and he wrote a book called the Govinda Lilamrita, which is a wonderful description of Krishna's daily activities in the spiritual world. And because of that beautiful Govinda Lilamrita, he got the uh, title Kaviraj, which means King of Poets. And much later, uh, after the, after the uh, disappearance of Lord Chaitanya, uh, Raghunath Das Goswami came to Vrindavan. He was intending to commit suicide because he couldn't stand separation. He had spent 18 years with Lord Chaitanya in Jagannath Puri and witnessing the highest levels of Prema Bhakti and separation from uh, Krishna, Lord Chaitanya. Uh, Krishna had appeared in the mood of, uh, and taken the role of Srimati Radharani, and uh, he was always experiencing this love and separation. So Raghunath Das was heartbroken, as many devotees were when Lord Chaitanya left this world. And uh, so he came to Vrindavan and things and jump off Govardhan Hill. But the devotees there said, no, no, we have to hear this Ancha Leela that you witnessed so wonderfully. And so he didn't commit suicide for three hours every day. He would stay at Radha Kund and he would recount what he had witnessed. And that formed some of what we, we, we read in the Chaitanya Charitama, especially uh, Ancha Leela. So uh, Krishna's coverage in his elder days, he took up, the, he was requested because of his skill to write this wonderful Chaitanya Charitamrita. And sometimes he re at the beginning of the Madhya he says, I don't know if I can really complete this. He's having some health crisis. So he gives a little summary of the Antya Leela in the second chapter of Madhya Leela. So I wanted to simply uh, uh, discuss a little bit in the, in the limited time about, first of all, who is Lord Chaitanya and why did he, why did he come? And uh, what is our relationship to him? As obviously all of you here are interested in Krishna and Lord Chaitanya, you wouldn't be here. So what is our deep relationship? So first of all, uh, in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, it's very systematically arranged. And the second chapter and third chapter of the Adi Lila, right near the beginning, are devoted to proving from Shastra, from quotes from the scriptures and, and evidence, that uh, Lord Chaitanya is Krishna. And also that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. That's not, also not a given for many people. So he gives some of that proof from the Shastra, Ete Chansakarapunsa Krishna Stu Bhagavan Suyam from the Bhagavatam, saying all of these different avatars that appear are simply expansions of the original Krishna. Krishna is Bhagavan. He's full in six opulences. The uh, beauty and knowledge and wealth and strength and fame and uh, detachment. Detachment, we probably say renunciation. So, so once he's proved that Krishna is uh, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, then comes the proof that uh, Lord Chaitanya is Krishna. And he quotes many Shastra. This morning we, we, we quoted perhaps the most famous verse from the 11th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam is said to be the crown jewel or the ripened fruit, say, of all the Vedic knowledge. Right at the beginning, Nagamakalpatado Gadetam Palam. 
and it is wholly and solely concerned with the process of bhakti yoga. And staying right at the beginning, this is the only way to understand the Supreme Personality of God, actual God. Otherwise, well, you may practice so much yoga or speculation, and a few people may realize the results of those practices, but it's not going to be a full understanding of God and our loving relationship with God. So, uh, the, in, in the, uh, the main verse that he quotes is this from the 11th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. Krishna varnam trisha krishnam sangal pangasta parshadam yagya sankatana praya yajanti hi sumerasa. And this is in a portion of the Bhagavatam which is discussing the different avatars that appear he, 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 uh, in different yugas. There's the four different yugas. We're in the final yuga, the Kali Yuga, the age of quarrel and dissension. Have you noticed? Have you noticed? <laughs> Whether it's on the internet or physically or emotionally or somehow or other, that people are always fighting with each other. So this is the age of Kali. Um, but uh, Krishna doesn't neglect this age. He says, how can people be saved here? So he comes, uh, in, a, in this verse says, Krishna Varnam. Krishna Varnam means two things. He's always chanting the syllables, Krishna, 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Lord Chaitanya showed that. And he... He uh, belongs to the ca category of Krishna. In other words, he's Krishna himself. But he's not blackish. He has a golden yellow complexion. And this is predicted by Gargamuni and when Lord, uh, Krishna appears. Those of you who have read Krishna book or the 10th canon. Sangal uh, Pangasta Parshadam, a very meaningful phrase. Sa Anga, Upa Anga, and uh, Astra and Parshadam. So his angas is like his limbs, his very intimate associates. Just like you see that picture there of the Panchatattva, we always chant the mantra. Pancha means five. So it means Lord Chaitanya and his first expansion, Nityananda, and his avatar, uh, Advaita Acharya, and then his uh, uh, most uh, dear devotee, Shiva's Thakur, and his internal energy, uh, Gadadhar. And these were always with him in, in, in uh, Navadweep, and they, they spread the Sankirtan movement together. So there's a lot about that. So those are the Angas. Then the Upa Angas are all the other associates who helped him, who were with him in, at that time. And you read the Adi Lila, and you'll see a whole list of them, wonderful devotees like Vikreshra Pandit and the Sivananda Sain and many others. And then the Astra. This is very interesting, because anyone who reads uh, Krishna's Lila is familiar with it. He kills a lot of demons. He kills demons in, in Vrindavan, and when he goes to Mathura, and then when he goes to Dwarka. And, he, and, and especially when he leaves Vrindavan, one thing I noticed when I first read the Krishna book, he never uses any weapons in Vrindavan. Never. He's swinging around, you know, the, the, the donkey demons and the calf demon, or he uh, chokes them, right? He gets, goes inside a gasra, chokes them from inside, bakasra, he breaks it. He's just, because he's a Vaisha. He's not a Chacha. He doesn't have weapons. He's just playing as a Vaisha. But then when he leaves, then in Mathura, then the weapons come. The Jurasan, this whole chariot comes down from the sky and he and Balaram get on there and they annihilate with bows and arrows and of course the chuck. So, but in, in uh, Chaitanya Leela, where's the weapons? He's standing there, his hands are open, you see. Sometimes we see he's carrying little cartels, but he has no weapon. But he has a weapon. And he, instead of, in, in the in previous ages, he had killed the demons outright, and annihilated them, but that was to their benefit. Nobody dies. I have a little point. Everybody dies, but nobody dies, right? So they make benefited by being killed by Krishna, although people don't realize that. But here he doesn't kill, because the, the demons are everywhere. We're all like more or less demonic, so what's going to be, the, what, what good is it? Kill the demonic tendency in the heart. That's what he does with the Hare Krishna mantra. So the mantra is a weapon to purify the heart of our demonic tendencies. So that's the, the weapon. Also, they said his beauty is is great attractiveness as a weapon too, to attract uh, people. So, uh, and the Parshada, those are his intimate associates. And so how should we worship him? That's a yajna uh, sankirtana praya, by sacrifice. But what is that sacrifice? In previous ages, trait the yuga, you, ga you gather you know, many highly trained Brahmins and you have the fire sacrifices with tons of ghee. You know how much uh, like a 54-gallon barrel of ghee would cost a day to make? You know, thousand dollars at least, probably more. Buy all that butter and boil it down. You know, this is impossible. But we still need to perform sacrifice. So what's the sacrifice? Sankirtana praya, chiefly gathering together and congregational chanting of the holy name. And we'll do the shikshasik in a few minutes. So uh, 
but you have to be intelligent. You have to be intelligent enough to uh, hear about the glories of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu from pure devotees like Srila Prabhupada, books that are written by him or his followers, pure followers, so that you get the faith in the process. You don't have to be pure. doesn't matter, old, young, man, woman, rich, poor, it doesn't matter, whatever. That doesn't matter. All that matters is you have enough faith, enough interest to participate in the chanting, you know, to focus and, ch- and utter the holy names, and the, pur- the purification begins. Anyone can become purified and become purer than the purest Brahmin by this simple process. This is the revolution of Lord Chaitanya, which uh, was uh, quite uh, controversial when he began it in Nadia. So that's, uh, that's who Lord Chaitanya is. But why did Krishna appear specifically as Lord Chaitanya? Now we know he says in the Bhagavad Gita that I come whenever there's a discrepancy in Dharma. This famous verse, many of you know, Yada Yadahi Dharmasya, Glani Bhavati Bharata, Abhyutanama Dharmasya, Tadatmanam Sajamiham. Whenever and wherever there's a discrepancy in the Dharma uh, and an upsurge of a religion, at that time I manifest myself. What does he do? Protect the devotees, annihilate the miscreants, reestablish Dharma. So Lord Chaitanya's mission was the same. But he wanted to especially establish the highest dharma of pure prema bhakti. So he came as a, a covered incarnation. He wasn't obviously Krishna. And uh, he propagated this chanting of the holy name. And the goal is the highest level of devotional service, love and separation in the mood of the gopis. And that's explained in the, in the fourth verse of the, of the Adi Lila, right at the beginning. Anarpita chadim chadat karunayavati nakkalo. It says, for a long time this had not been given. How long? A day of Brahma. may not sound so long, but it's over 8 billion years. Every Brahma lives for a long, long time. <laughs> so that, that's the last time that Krishna appeared uh, personally, and Lord Chaitanya came after. So uh, he, he came in order to give that by the means of the chanting of the holy name and the propagation of uh, literatures like the uh, Srimad Bhagavatam. And he taught his disciples, especially Rupa and Sanat and Goswami, to write books which Srila Prabhupada has given us, the nectar of devotion, the nectar of instruction, and his followers, the, the Brihad Bhagavatamra by Sanatana Goswami. And whatever books Prabhupada wrote, he relied on the commentaries of the Goswamis or followers of the Goswamis. So this is what we're getting when we read Srila Prabhupada's priceless books. And so that was his, that was his uh, external reason, and to show mercy and compassion and to... Uh, deliver people by chiefly this process, propagating the sankirtan, the chanting, congregational chanting of the holy name. But Krishna also had his own personal reason for coming. And this is revealed, very confidential. And that is that Krishna in the spiritual world, he realized that Srimati Radharani is, is in, uh, experiencing even more ecstasy and ananda than I am. Krishna is the, the, the ocean of ananda. He's such an ananda, vigraha. But, but the process of serving him, especially in this highest, most intense, intimate way that Sri Mataradharani showed and all the gopis, uh, gives him even more pleasure than receiving the service. And so he says, well, I, I can't experience that as Krishna. So he came in, 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 with the complexion and mood of Sri Mataradharani. That's explained also at the beginning and, and elaborated on the fourth chapter of Adi Lila. So these two reasons for Lord Chaitanya's coming uh, should also have a reflection in our own practice of devotional service. And that, what I mean by that is that, we, first of all, we have to become uh, interested, we have to become a little knowledgeable and hear uh, or read the, the books of Srila Prabhupada and understand the urgency of it. There's that we, in this material world, we're faced with these uh, unstoppable problems, inevitable problems of birth, old age, disease, and death. And if those aren't immediately in your face, you know, you've got the threefold miseries that are going to handle. Like right now, as I'm sure you all know, there is a uh, virus going around, right? Now, I was thinking about that. This is kind of a combination of the adibautic and the adiatmic miseries. Adibautic is this foreign agent, agent coming to give you trouble. It's like most, a lot of times it's other people that are giving you trouble, like your boss, your landlord, right? Uh, and, you know, causing you anxiety, or whatever. Uh, but also these agency, bacteria and everything, they're all the Baltic, they're, they can give you misery. And when they attack, then, you, then your body and mind is giving you a problem, right? And then there's Adi Divik, you know, the natural causes, the, the earthquakes. It can be an earthquake here at any moment, you know, not to scare you, but it's true. 
And then uh, I was in Miami, hurricanes, and it's drought, and these things are happening everywhere. Climate change itself, you know, the extreme storms, everyone knows. This ocean has been so nice. I've lived there 30 years. What if it goes up four or five feet? Havoc. So these are always threatening or you're experiencing them. This is the nature of our life in the material world. Is there another life? Is there a way of mitigating these miseries forever? Most people say no. That's just life what it is. You have to get whatever pleasure you can get. But that's, that's illusion. Krishna teaches us very clearly in Bhagavad Gita that we can break out of this, light, this uh, bondage of birth and death, old age and, e and disease, and go back home, back to God, to our original home, which is in the spiritual world, far beyond these threefold miseries of birth, old age, disease, and death. This is liberation, but it's not impersonal liberation. It's, it's, a, it's reinstatement. That's my part, go back home, back to Godhead. Reinstatement in our natural position as loving, eternal servants of Krishna, purely spiritual. Now we're a mixture of, of matter and spirit. This is unnatural for us. So this is all the teachings of Krishna himself in Bhagavad Gita, and, uh, and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give that, and the means, especially in this age, how can we connect? How can we connect our mind, our consciousness, to the Lord in the most effect, efficacious and easy way? Simply by chanting. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna has appeared in the sound of his holy name and manifested all his energies there. Hare Krishna, I forgot to mention. Please turn your phones off. Hare Krishna. Hare Bo, thank you. So, that, the, that's the essence of Lord Chaitanya's uh, Leela. Now he, he demonstrated so much of giving Krishna consciousness to others. He was very concerned with that and his deputies, such as Lord Nityananda, giving. But at the same time, he himself was experiencing the highest uh, ecstasy and showing how to experience it in the mood of Srimati Radharani. So in our own lives, we have to become enlivened about practicing Krishna consciousness which is not too difficult if you associate with devotees, come to the temple, chant Hare Krishna, take prasad, read Srila Prabhupada's books, and, and awaken to the idea this is really the mission of life. There is a meaning to this whole life. Uh, for a long time, as a, as, a, as a young man, I was thinking, does it mean anything? It, doesn't, it just seems to be you know, meaningless. It's the age of existentialism and all of this business. You know? And finally, I met the devotees, and they were sure there was a meaning to it, and they taught me that saved, we're saved from this enemy and entropy. So uh, by getting that understanding, then we should strive that I want to go back to Godhead. I want to break out of this birth and death. Don't we? Do we just want to like put our heads in the sand like the ostrich? Well, I'll, I'll, let me just enjoy for now. I'll worry about that later. It doesn't work like that. You know? You have to become serious about uh, accomplishing the mission of human life. And for that, Srila Prabhupada's books are the best uh, understanding. And once we become a little committed and are ch chanting and practicing, which is not difficult as, as at your own speed, then we should have these two lanes actually opening up. One is serious practice so I can become advanced and give up my entanglement with Maya, which is just causing me pain, and I can become more and more attracted to Krishna and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And the other is, let me give it to others. Just like Lord Chaitanya. He came, he gave it to others, but he also had his own desire to experience. So that's, that's fine. So what time is it now? I've lost track. This stupid app doesn't have it. 6.26. So there's some time. Uh, are there any comments or questions? I wanted to, to, to do the uh, slideshow also. It's a simple, th this is such a glorious day. You know, the appearance of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He is, is, if we just recognize uh, the, the benefit of learning about him, learning his teachings, meditating on his wonderful life, and uh, practicing you know, in, in, as, at our own speed the, the practice of devotional service, and we'll realize how, what, how fortunate we are to be living a mere 500-odd years after the uh, appearance of the most merciful, compassionate incarnation of Krishna. We're very, very fortunate, and we should take advantage of that. Okay, we had someone had a comment or a question? Go ahead. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Uh, what verse from 11 Canto do you say the main yes. important? Uh, well, this is a very, very key verse, to, this proving the Shastra, from Shastra, the divinity of Lord Chaitanya. 11, 5, 32. Thank you. 
Hare Krishna. <laughs> okay. So, if you allow me, it's going to take a few minutes just to set this up because I have to get the electricity going. But I've got everything set up and this is here. And so, uh, can we have a little kirtan for a few minutes? With a harmonium, maybe, if we set up. And... Uh, Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare
Okay. Now I have one more thing here. It might work. Let's see if this works. All right. Okay. Do we have a drum? We play drum and, and cartels. Okay. So as I mentioned, Sri Shikshastika is the main literary work. Literary work is definitely ascribed to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Eight verses. And it's all about chanting the holy name and taking us all the way to the highest levels. So there's a lot to be said about this. We won't be able to say it, but we can try to uh, chant it. Those who know the Sanskrit can chant with me, and then we'll do the English and a little kirtan in between. Jeto dapanam ajanam bhava mahadavagni nirvapanam Shreyakairava chandrikava tadanam vinyabadhu jivanam Anandam budivadhanam pradipadam bhunamita swadhanam Savatma snapanam param vijayate shi krishna sankirtanam all glories to the chanting of Sri Krishna's holy names, which easily extinguishes samsara's blazing flames by polishing the lust-encrusted mirror of the heart. That chanting is the waxing moon that knows the secret art of causing the white lotus of good fortune to unfurl its petals far and wide throughout this bleak and blighted world. Of transcendental knowledge which will take us to life's goal, the chanting of the name of Krishna is the life and soul. The ocean of ecstatic bliss floods far beyond its bounds, wherever Krishna's merciful and mystic name resounds. Indeed, whenever Krishna's names are sung in congregation, at every step one tastes a joy that knows no limitation. So here with great attention, as I earnestly request, please chant Sri Krishna's holy names and be supremely blessed. The soothing nectar of the name will bathe your consciousness, bestow pure love for Krishna, and eradicate distress. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ram Ram Hare Hare, Ram Ram Kadi Bhudani the Sarva Shaktis, Tatra Pitani Yamitak Smarane Nakalaha, Eta Drushita Bhakripa Bhagavan Mahapi, Dur Daiva Mida Samehajane Nanuraga. Krishna, Govinda, and Keshava too. Your names have no end, and then each of them you have invested your potencies, leaving none out. Whenever we want, we can chant him without the slightest restriction of time or of place. O oh Lord, who can fathom your infinite grace? That I am so wretched, devoid of all shame, that I haven't developed a taste for your name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Okay, this one you know, everyone chant. Chena de bisuni chena, tarora pisa ishnuna, amani na mana dena, kirtani yaksada harihi. Chena de bisuni chena, tarora pisa ishnuna, amani na mana dena, kirtani yaksada harihi. More humble than a blade of grass, more tolerant than a tree. To think all praise belongs to others, none belongs to me. 
Such qualities attract the Lord to bless one with the power to chant his name incessantly until the final hour. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Okay, keep playing, keep playing, keep playing. Nadanang nadanang nasundari kapitan bajukati shikamahe Nama janma na janma nishwade bapata bhakti dahoy tiki prahe Nadanang nadanang nasundari kapitan bajukati shikamahe Nama janma na janma nishwade bapata bhakti dahoy tiki prahe Wealth and women followers, the fruits of mundane piety. Liberation from this world of limitless anxiety. For me, O oh Lord, these common goals have not the slightest worth. Let me serve you purely now and in each future birth. Let me serve you purely now and in each future birth. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Ananda Pandu Dikinkaram Patitamma Vishame Bhavambhavo Kripaya Tavatara Pangaja Sata Dhuli Sata Shanta Chintaya Ananda Pandu Dikinkaram Patitamma Vishame Bhavambhavo Kripaya Tavatara Pangaja Sata Dhuli Sata Shanta Chintaya Your servant for eternity, I lost my true identity and fell into this horrid sea of birth and death, O Lord. O Nanda Son, please hear my plea. By your sweet grace, consider me a speck of dust upon your lotus feet forevermore. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama Hare Hare. Hare Nanga Vibhushu Dare Yava Nanga Dhara Dhara Yaga Rat Dilka Nitam Bhagu Kadat Banama Ghani Bhavishti. Tears streaming from my eyes, my voice choked with bliss. The hairs upon my body standing up in happiness. Uh, when will all these signs of rapture decorate my limbs? As I chant your holy name, the monarch of all hymns. As I chant your holy name, the monarch of all hymns. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Gaitam Nimeshena, Chakshusha Prabhushaitam. Shunyaitam Jagat Savam, Govinda Varahedame. Govinda Varahedame. Every moment drags on for a million years or more. From the wrinkles of my eyes, the tears and torrents pour. This whole creation, nothing but a vast and joyless void. Oh, golden bar, by your absence, I am being destroyed. Oh, golden bar, by your absence, I am being destroyed. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Ashlisya va paravatam panashtumam. Adashnan mam hatam karotuvam. 
That Madhava embraces me who's fallen at his feet Or oh, let him trample me on my most ardent hopes defeat By never giving me a chance to see him anywhere Thus shattering my heart and plunging me into despair You see he is a restless libertine and not a saint So let him act in any way he likes without restraint Yet though his cruel and crooked ways may cause me constant woe Krishna is the only Lord my heart shall ever know. Everyone. Krishna is the only Lord my heart shall ever know. Krishna is the only Lord my heart shall ever know. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Jaya Prambhu Panda, Jaya Prambhu Panda, Prambhu Panda, Jaya Prambhu Panda, Jaya Prambhu Panda, Prambhu 